All right, guys, we are taking a look at the WL Toys 144001, and I am actually starting to look at the potential of making this a 3S machine. And one of the challenges with 3S is that when you change out this ESC, you're not gonna have very much room because of the height of the cab on this thing or the shell. If you look at it, uh, there's not much room there. And a lot of the ones that you buy from Cool RC and others, they have this uh, fan on the top. Now this is my 959B converted car. Let me move these wires out of the way. Sorry, and you can see here that uh, the ESC is on its side. Um, this thing hauls, but it's 4,300 kV. If you've never seen my videos of it, it's a monster. But I have it on the side, and I mounted it right in the center. And if you look at the uh, WL Toys, or whatever this thing is, I'm not sure it's WL Toys, it's the 144001 though. They've done the same thing essentially. They've mounted the ESC right in the center. But there's not as much space. The cab is definitely has a lot more of a height on it with the WL Toys versions. And so I've been thinking about how to make this work. Now, if you look at this, I probably should measure, but I'm gonna do sort of a quick and dirty here. If you look at this, it's probably about the height to that second little notch on the screwdriver, more or less. And if you can take that out, uh, take out the old ESC, it's gonna come up to about there. So we need a little more height. So one of the things that I've seen people do is they'll go ahead and they will, because the fan's gonna be at the top of this thing, they'll cut a hole out here and the fan will basically stick out. So it would be this fan essentially with this type of speed controller will be sticking out of here. Now I don't think that looks bad at all, but I do think the fan will get scratched up. Really not like to cut the body. So one of the things I'm, I'm looking at doing is figuring out how do we get more space in there. So I was looking at this last night and I started actually switching out the body posts here from my WL Toys to the, for the 959 to the 979. So what, are, to the, oh gosh, the 144001, sorry. So this is the original body post from this car, okay? And I already switched out the body post here at the rear for the WL Toys one. Now, one thing I can tell you is if you look at this, it is a good bit longer. I've got probably another uh, about that much extra body post and I can stick a pin all the way up higher. So that's probably gonna give me a lot more room for that ESC and speed controller to be right at the top. I can pretty much come up like that and you can see I've got a pretty, if we can see here, I got a pretty good amount of room up in there, uh, more or less. So we're going to see. Now the other thing I can do is I can take the front one off the WL Toys, and let me show you here. You can see how long that is? That is a long body post. There's just one screw on that thing that holds it on this center brace. And then you can see how short this guy is. It's very short. It's kind of stubby. And that would also give me probably this much more, which would be plenty of room to run this type of style ESC with a fan on top. And that is what I'm preparing for. Now the other thing I'm gonna do, of course, is move this over, and then we'll have the longer battery, uh, which will be here, and this is a 3S. And we'll see what happens. But I wanted to share just one possibility, uh, as I know some people have already done this. And I've seen a few different options. I've seen some people put the ESC right here, which definitely you can fit a smaller ESC probably right here. You could also get rid of this battery tray brace completely. But the only drawback to that is you do not then have the ability to run a really big battery. You can only run a 2S or a 3S that's about that big because your ESC is right there. What I've done with these cars when I've modded them by putting the ESC in the center like this, um, you basically can run a big battery like that. It gives you a ton of room and a ton of run time. So that's the ideal is to run the long battery and then you obviously will keep the ESC up here and then now you've got to get more space. 
uh, and more height, you can either do that through cutting this or by using the WL Toys 959 uh, or 979 body posts, which are longer. Now, incidentally, if you are thinking of just swapping them with your one of your WL Toys, um, the body posts from the WL Toys, these will bolt right on into here without any problem. Uh, I've only done the rear, for, however, but the if you swap them out, taking this post, putting it on the WL Toys, you're gonna have to grind down a little bit because I don't know if you can see, but this thing runs right up flat against that gear cover and that little ridge around the bottom, you gotta grind that down. Once you do that, it's no big deal. Um, you may also have to grind a little hole right in this little, a little bigger pinhole right there but it's actually a really great body post. It's shorter than the original WL Toys one, and it has that nice little, um, I guess you call it like a ridge that lets it lets the body sit on there, which I think is better, um, and it looks perfect. Um, and this one doesn't look bad either. I mean, once you bolt everything in, it's fine. You can't really tell, but um, these are just some of the different considerations that uh, I'm going through as I try to work on this and come up with this upgrade. I think it's totally gonna to be worth it. I love the car as it is. A lot of people say, why upgrade? Why even mess with it? Why, why not just leave it alone? And honestly, um, I probably should leave it alone, but I've had such good experiences with the uh, other upgrades that I did on this car that it's just, it's just a, an amazing thing to drive these things when they're brushless and they have that much power. And ultimately, I mean, you can, you know, you can control the amount of power that you have. You don't have to use all of it. You know, on this car, for example, I can barely go past half throttle. Um, and on this one, it may be the same thing, but it's quite an experience. And this car actually has the chassis, the ground clearance, the tire size, the suspension, everything um, to handle the type of power that comes with a 4300 KV motor on 3S. Thanks everyone. If you like the channel, hit like and subscribe, or you wanna follow the journey of turning this car into a brushless beast and hopefully doing it in the best, most manageable and also uh, durable, longest lasting way possible. Click like and subscribe. And we've got a lot of other videos too uh, of this car being built and what I did with it and uh, the whole process, plus some of the other cars here and also the Arma Creighton and much more.